Welcome back one final time to the RISC-V assembly language module. In this module, we, it's not that we just learned the, uh, the RISC-V assembly language. We actually learned basics of the RISC-V instruction set architecture. We understand really at some level how does the RISC-V processor work. We understand its programmer's model. We have learned a lot of RISC-V instructions. Um, we are missing only about seven or eight, About we have covered about 30, and the other ones we'll see are you know, essentially relatives of these ones that we have learned so far. We can, with these 30 instructions, we can uh, write pretty much any assembly program that we need. The other ones are just going to make that life a little bit easier. Now, <laughs> like writing C programs, Nobody has learned writing C just by watching the, the instructional videos. The way how we learn writing assembly language is by practicing it. So please go ahead and practice it. It is less likely that we'll be writing assembly um, during our careers, but you'd be surprised how much assembly is still being written out there. So spend some time and understand it not just for the sake of understanding, learning how to program in assembly, but as a really good insight into how does the computer actually work. When we presented these assembly instructions, we did them in a particular order. We're going to see that in the next module, we're going to be grouping them a bit differently. And in this list, we are showing a glimpse of that. So when we look at this grouping, I've organized register-based arithmetic logic instructions in one group and then immediates in, in another group. Do you see something there that is similar? Yeah, the format is the same. That's telling us something. The machine that executes them it's going to look at them at pretty much the same way. Now, we, I put two more groups and we'll find out that these may not fit together the right way. Loads and stores don't look the same. Branches mostly do, but these jumps, not quite. So, we're going to see a little bit of a regrouping there and putting likes with likes. So this wraps up the module on uh, RIS-5 assembly language. And the next big module is going to cover machine language. We're going to descend one more time in, the, in our level of abstraction. And we're going to translate all of these assembly instructions into a bunch of zeros and ones. We are not going to memorize those zeros and ones, but that is what the computer is going to see and execute. So take a break now, and we'll see you in a bit in the next module that deals with the, the representation of instructions. See you there.